What's going on YouTube? I'm going to be doing a topic today of how to solve Central American cichlid aggression. And before I get started, you've probably seen an Embuna cichlid, a zebra. It's in there for a good reason. It was getting uh, bullied by some larger zebras by my friend in his five foot tank. And it was on the edge of death apparently. That's why he's got a few marks. So he's in there for a good reason until he recovers. So, let's get started. So the first question you're going to be asking yourself, how can I make my Central American cichlids peaceful and not attack any fish? Simple answer for that, you aren't going to do it. They're born to be territorial, much like Malawi cichlids are territorial, defending certain areas, because, a bit weird, the competition for food and breeding grounds and the amount of females which they can have is much the same. So the first thing you can do is have one Central American or a pair if they're compatible to a tank. So if you want a community set up like with most fish you're going to want to increase visual boundaries. Look at my tank from one end to the other. There's lots of wood, some rocks and a flower pot in caves for injured fish to get away. Visual boundaries mean uh, basically that if a fish is chasing them, if they go behind that visual boundary, that it's going to stop, much like when the black diamond just chased that Malawi. So lots of visual boundaries is a good idea. The next way is to a pretty much straightforward way, but with this way, it's much like Malawi cichlids. You have to over oxygenate over maintenance it, water changes more often, filter changes more often and over filter it. This is a 55 uh, gallon US gallon tank. It holds 200 litres of water and I have a 468 gallon per hour filter running it, uh, 1220 litres per hour. I also have a 3 foot long air brick powered by a 480 litre per hour pump. So this increases it. I do filter changes every two days and water changes every three to four days just to keep that quality good and so no fish gets stunted growth or anything and the water starts becoming smelly. It's going to get its water changed tomorrow and yeah but when uh, say for example a Central American cichlid breed these two jags are looking to spawn the aggression is obviously going to be increased with those two fish, depending on how big they want their territory, these are a pretty good pair, they don't wipe the entire tank out, but she's full of eggs and she's going to spawn, uh, sorry, sometime soon, so I'm going to expect quite a few, just like these two uh, want to spawn. So, the way that overcrowding a tank works is you don't overcrowd it ridiculously, it's like a Malawi tank you see. The aggression is spread out, say for example this black diamond cichlid there, he will go for any fish smaller than him which he can uh, bully and chase. So instead of having one small fish which was the umbi which he could chase, because this fish came to me as a rescue, this fish acts as the second small fish. So the fish is like a food chain of dither fish if you will, what is that? Anyway, he chases them, the aggression gets dispersed out between both of them, but it works on so and so. So, for example, this black bull chases everyone apart from the jag, so he's got three fish to disperse on. The redhead chases everyone, and the jags chase everyone apart from the redhead. So all that aggression is dispersed out between different fish, so no lethal injuries can it, uh, happen from it. Only a few nips here and there. But the more you crowd, uh, much like a Malawi tent, the less aggression there's going to be. Like this jag here showing some territorial behaviour to him. They're looking for a spawning ground now. That's just today it's happened. So if the aggression is dispersed, uh, basically you're not going to have any dead fish on your hands. Because if it was just like two, three fish in this tank, the aggression would be dispersed on one particular fish which they thought they could get 
So it they would eventually succumb to injuries, then disease, then they'll probably die. These two want to mate. They're doing some spawning behaviour. Keep getting distracted. So basically, the more fish you have, providing you keep on top of water maintenance and quality and over filter it, uh, the less aggression you're going to have, much like a Malawi tank where it works, where you've got a hyper dominant individual who's going to chase anyone who feels like any particular species if he only goes for similar looking species. Yep, change of dominance here. So, the help of more similar species and disperse the amount of aggression to that one individual. Say you've got, I'm not an expert on Malawis, but Aratus, I've heard they're extremely aggressive and they'll harass females. Say there's more than one female, it'll be dispersed out to other fish. So, there isn't much to talk about now. Just, this is the new light which I've put in and there's a new fish. There's seven fish in here, so that dominant fish can disperse his aggression on six other fish, and so on and so on. So you, it's almost like a pecking order, like with chickens or something, you've got a dominant fish, the next one, next one, he can pick on who he wants, they can pick on who he wants, then the bottom can't pick on anyone unless he challenges the one up. So, that's this video pretty much done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I know I said I wouldn't do an update, but this could be classed as one. And I'll do a care video series when I've cleaned it out tomorrow. Just so you see the difference where loads of wood is leached tannins into the water. So, goodbye.